been a fan of the movie Up, I really wanted to get one of these sets and finally I got my hands on one. For cheaper than retail actually. So what's my thoughts on it? Let's roll the intro. Welcome to my review of the Disney Up House. This set was released in the 1st of April 2023 and it has 598 pieces and features two minifigures as well as two adorable animals in total. This set depicts Carl's colourful house from the Disney movie Up with the balloons above the house used to help lift the house up for one last whirlwind adventure. We also have a smaller build featuring a helium tank used to blow up the balloons which is a nice little addition to the house. The price for this set is usually $49.99. However, I managed to snag this set for a nice $37.50 from Argos. Moving on to the box art, we see the house in the background alongside the balloon station used to provide the balloons for the house. In front of the house, we have the minifigures depicting the characters from the movie that are included in this set. Those being Doug, Carl, Russell and an adorable little squirrel. In the top right corner, we see the Disney 100 logo. Denoting that this set is part of the Disney 100th anniversary celebration versions and in the bottom right corner we see the included minifigures again. Turning the box around we see the house from the back giving us a look at the interior. The interior of the set features a number of little easter eggs from the Up movie including the little glass jar of savings for Paradise Falls, the adventure book and Carl's comfy chair. And open up the box inside we find four big bags full of parts, the instructions for all these bags and 12 stickers in total to complete the look of the build. So I've built the set and now we can have a look around and see what's up. Starting the outside this set makes really good use of different Lego bricks for the construction of the house as well as the interior parts. I love the detail around the window and the little hose at the front looks really cute. The balloons look good although more is needed after I think to really complete the look of the balloons but they look good regardless. Turn the house around and now we can see inside the house. On the bottom part we have the living room with Carl's chair surrounded by photos of him and his wife. This is also where the funds to go to Paradise Falls is located. Moving to the right we have the entrance hallway to the house. Upstairs from right to left we have Carl's bedroom with lovely colourful bed with an attic area next door with an old TV and a crate. This this crate is also where the adventure book is stored. So in this set you get two minifigures, one being Carl and the other being Russell, as well as one animal figure, that being Doug. Carl features a lovely brown jacket, grey shirt and beige bottoms with a lovely brown bow tie completing the look. His face design features two facial expressions, grumpy and slight smile with a nice moulded hairpiece to top it all off. I love the use of Lego to make his walking stick too. Russell's design features a yellow top with all of his badges proudly shown off with dual molded legs to get the look of the shorts. His face design also features two facial expressions, one being happy and one looking slightly mischievous. His headpiece is dual molded with hair coming out the front of a yellow cap. Again, Lego has made good use of Lego bricks to make Russell's adventure backpack. I absolutely love this inclusion. The Doug figure is also dual molded and features nice detailing. Also if you find yourself enjoying this review so far why not hit that subscribe button for more Lego videos like this plus more. So let's weigh up the pros and cons of this Lego set. In terms of pros I do like the inventive use of using different Lego bricks and the good structure to the house. I also like the really cool little inclusions for the decor including the Paradise Falls fund and the adventure book as well. In terms of cons nothing deal breaking but I feel like this set should be a little bit bigger and obviously the lack of balloons whilst again not a deal breaker it would look better with more balloons in my opinion. So taking all the pros and cons into consideration I did thoroughly enjoy building this set and it will definitely look good displayed wherever you will display it. It would have been cool if it was a bit bigger had more balloons and was maybe a more complete build but it still looks good. For the price I think £50 is pushing it a bit but this set looks like it's been discounted everywhere now to around the £35 mark which in my opinion is an absolute steal for this set. So what do you guys think? As always I'll be answering comments for a few hours after this video has gone live. Anyway take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.